go now to the Pentagon, uh, where today the Pentagon officials are rolling out its new policy on transgender troops, which largely limits service of transgender people in uniform. Our Elizabeth McLaughlin is at the Pentagon with the latest. Hello, Elizabeth. What's, what's the latest there? Hi, Byron. So we've been tracking this story for just about two years now since President Trump first tweeted in the summer of 2017 that he wanted to ban transgender service members. That really set off a string of court challenges. Last month, the Supreme Court decided that it could go ahead. The Department of Defense could go ahead with the policy. There was one court left. Um, that had an injunction against the ban that was removed last week. And so here we have today the new policy that will go into effect on April 12th. It's very complicated, but here's what you really need to know. If you are currently serving transgender service member, DOD is going to try to grandfather you in. However, if you are transgender, you've received hormone therapy, maybe even a gender reassignment surgery, you would be banned from enlisting or joining the military in any capacity. Uh, I just got off a call with some defense officials who say this is not a ban. This is about gender dysphoria, not being transgender. Um, but the definition of gender dysphoria is that you have a, 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 a collision in between your birth uh, gender and your preferred gender and how you identify. And so it's hard to imagine that this is not a ban on, on currently serving transgender service members and those that may want to join the military at some point.